Do you want to know how I started my entrepreneurial um, journey? Yeah. yeah. Unemployed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so actually, I was I was finishing up grad school um, and getting my master's, and was being recruited for a job opportunity back here in Cleveland. Um, was being recruited for this job for nine months. Like they wrote the job description based off of my resume. They weren't looking at any other um, candidates but me. And at the last minute, they decided to go into another direction. So I found myself unemployed. But during the same season, um, I got into a car accident. My car got totaled. Um, shortly after that, I was then asked to take care of my grandmother who had Alzheimer's and my uncle who was autistic. I didn't have my health because I was in rehab for nine months. And all of this without a job, without money, without the car. But because of that decision that was made from that other employer who just decided to go into another direction, I made a promise to myself at that point to never leave my financial future in the hands of someone else. Because I can at any moment be disposable. They can decide that, you know what, we're going in another direction, you're no longer with me. And I still need to take care of myself. I still need to take care of my family who are relying on me. And so I made the decision at that point to take my experiences of working in education. I've, I've done a lot of work around um, helping people in, to navigate the college admissions process. So I actually had also worked with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation on a $20 million project to help students to navigate the college application process and to help them to persist through college. And I took all of those experiences and decided you know what, I want to be able to do that for my community back here. And so for a year, how long? A year, I was unemployed. While continuing to just have meetings with people, talking to them about what I was doing, wanting to help nonprofits and schools to start up these types of programs. It took me a year before I got my first client. But then shortly after that, I got the second. And within a few months, I had made more within those few months than I had ever just working for someone else. So it wasn't an easy process, but it was worth it. And so after being a consultant and working for nonprofits and schools, helping them to raise money, helping them to start new programs, I realized if I really wanted to have an impact on helping as many students as possible go off to college, I am a first generation college graduate, so that's my personal passion. I really believe that having access to knowledge and resources can change your life, change your family's lives, and your community. But I knew in order to help more students and more families, I couldn't scale myself, but I could leverage technology. So that's when I started to look into, as a non-technical person, I cannot code a lit. <laughs> How can I use technology and the software to help more students to navigate that college application process? And so that's when I then started talking to more students, started talking to more parents, started to talk to more school administrators, and figuring out what, were, what was their biggest problem? What were they seeing as some of their biggest challenges? And it took me six months of just simply talking to them figuring out what their biggest pain point was, what was their why, to come up with a solution to address that. But through talking to them and figuring out truly what their problems were, coming and engaging them in my development process and building a product and a solution with their feedback along the way, every time I created something, I went back to them and said, what do you think about this? Oh, no, you don't like that? Okay, okay, I can fix that. And just continue to do that and continue to do that. And it was through that process and then connecting with mentors and coaches who had experience in that space to help me navigate it, that within about a year, I was able to go from an idea to raising about a half a million dollars. 
Leveraging Jumpstart, we are forever grateful for an emerging market going through the managed by Jumpstart. <laughs> <laughs> but it took that, that determination. It took for me, my why was where I was before and being unemployed for a year. I was on government assistance. I'll just be honest. I had to. But that is the place that I will never go again. That's my why. And so that's what continues to push me forward to make sure that I get out there when I'm tired. I talk to my customers. I talk to those partners. I talk to those investors because I'm not going back there. And when I get married and when I have kids, they're not going to be there either. All right? And so I want you to use that. I want you to figure out what is your why, like down to the core. What is your why that is going to be your motivating and your driving force to continue to push you forward when things are hard, when you get the nose, when they close the doors? What's going to push you to keep going, keep going, keep going? So that way you can have the freedom that you want. You can have the life that you want. You have control over your own destiny. You have the ability to be a role model for your children, for your grandchildren, your aunts, your niece, your, or your, your nephews and your nieces, right? You can show them an example of what it means to be able to persevere, what it means to be able to create something of your own, what it means to own something of your own by being able to do that. And so, what I've been doing actually for the last several years is based off of that experience of you know, going from an idea to raising over half a million dollars, is continuing to work with other entrepreneurs to help them to be able to maintain. I feel extremely blessed to be in a position where I, as an African American woman in tech who has raised venture capital, it is only 0.2% of us. 0.2% of us who have raised venture capital in the tech space. And that number is really unfortunate. And what it means is that there's also a lot of people who don't have access to that knowledge to help them get over the hump. They have the drive. You have the drive. You have the passion. You just need the tools. You need the resources to get you to that next point. So that's a big part of what I've been doing over the last several years. I've run a, a, a statewide accelerator, business accelerator program, where I've, we've been helping entrepreneurs and starting and growing their businesses and getting access to them. One of our entrepreneurs actually was accepted into Chain Reaction last year. Within a month of finishing our program, $100,000. And so it's important to continue to help other people who have this passion and have this dream to be able to realize that, to give them the tools to be able to live their dreams. And so I do that through that business accelerator program, Sea Change. I do that through my own company, Bold Startups, where I work with entrepreneurs over the course of 18 months to get them to their first hundred thousand dollars, right? Because you have a gift that the world is meant to have, and I want to help you give that gift because I'm only one person. But if I can empower you, and if I can empower you, and empower you, and empower you with the tools that you need, now we've just changed our village. So I just want to encourage you as you're in your entrepreneurial journey to keep pushing forward, keep moving forward, lean on others, get the help that you need, and just make it work. Thank you. Wow.